Tim Chamberlain of Stromquist here with another tech tip. Today we're going to calibrate pneumatic thermostats. I've got four different brands. I have Honeywell, Barbara Coleman, Johnson Controls, and then uh, Robert Shaw, Barbara Coleman, Schneider. It goes by a variety of names. Um, first thing we're going to do is look at the, the basic strategy when you uh, want to calibrate a pneumatic thermostat. You need to check the ambient temperature of the room, set the thermostat for that ambient, and then you adjust the, you calibrate the thermostat uh, to meet that ambient. Now when you adjust it, we need to know what output pressure, what branch pressure that we expect, and that's dependent on uh, the application. Uh, it's, it's common, you know, general, uh, in general rather, um, we look at eight, nine pounds as calibration pressure, but that doesn't always take care of things. Uh, we have to look at our actuator. If we look at an actuator that has a stroke of eight to 13 PSI, then what we want to do is calibrate to mid stroke of that actuator. So if you have a three to eight actuator, you're going to have a, a very different calibration pressure. So check your actuator, find the, the spring range, and in this case we have 8 to 13, and uh, you just go uh, in the middle, the mid-stroke would be, to figure that out, add the two, 8 and 13 is 21, cut that in half, and you're looking at uh, 10 and a half pounds uh, calibration pressure. So that's what we're going to be calibrating to, and we're going to do four stats, and do it very, very quickly. So we're going to check our ambient temperature with a nice uh, digital thermometer. I'm reading right at 71 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dial in my thermostats and try to get as close to 71 degrees as I can. All right, there, and then let's do the Johnson, 71. And then finally the Robert Shaw. Okay, about 71 degrees. All right, now in each case, I'm going to look for about a 10 and a half pound branch pressure. So let's start with the um, Honeywell first. Uh, I've got a test, uh, my branch gauge right here, and it is reading just a little over five pounds. The key to calibrating a thermostat, a, a pneumatic thermostat, is to know where the calibration screw is, and it varies for the, very, for the different brands. Uh, the Honeywell, the calibration screw is right here, just to the left of this uh, set point indicator dial, and it's a uh, uh, little flathead screw, and we'll just take a look at the Barbara Coleman. The set screw for it is right here at the flapper assembly. There's a little nut, and then it, the set screw is right here. For the Johnson Controls, it has a similar look to it, and that adjustment screw is right here at the end of the bimetal assembly. And then when you look at the Robert Shaw, okay, moving to the Barbara Coleman, let's take a look at this. Now I've got a tool for the Barbara Coleman, one end. Uh, if you go right to the left uh, middle part, there's a little Allen screw that you just give a little counterclockwise turn and it will give, it, it'll bleed a little bit of your pressure, your calibration pressure off. Now we take just some flexible tubing and I'm going to slip it over that housing where that Allen re uh, screw resides and I've got a large gauge here so it's a little easier for the camera to see on this one. Now I'll take my other end of the tube, uh, uh, of the tool, and I'm going to insert it right here. This is your calibration screw. So let me insert it. It's a little tiny Allen wrench. And let's tweak this wrong direction, go the other way. I'm looking for 10 and a half. Okay, overshot it just a bit. That's pretty close. All that good. 
All right, and I'm going to take this off, and with the other end of the tool, I'm going to go ahead and close that port. Okay, let's take a look at the Johnson control stat. Uh, here, I've already inserted a test gauge. This has a port right here that you can put a needle uh, gauge in, but I really like this. It's a little adapter that you pull, pull this little plug out, screw this in, and it's so much easier than working with that needle gauge. All right, and I've got my temperature dialed in and uh, obviously, I'm way off calibration. Let's see if we can tweak this. Again, pressure I'm looking for is 10 and a half. Overshot it. It's very, very, very sensitive. All right, I tweak it. We're getting close. Just a tiny little touch when you're close. A little touch goes a long way. All right, we're pretty close there. All right, let's move down to our fourth and final. And I've just got a gauge on the branch here. You just take a look at. And this is the tool for this. And there's a Allen wrench right here. It's black, it's hard to see. So we're going to insert here. And I'm going to dial in 10 and a half pounds here. We're pretty close right there. Okay, that does it. We just calibrated. Four different brands of uh, pneumatic stat. Very, very easy to do. All right, that's it. We've just calibrated four different uh, brands of uh, pneumatic thermostat. You see how easy it is, and uh, uh, it's very simple, very quick. Uh, thank you for joining me for this tech tip, and look forward to seeing you in the next tech tip. If you need to control it or measure it, Stromquist and Company has a control solution for you. With over $2 million of inventory between our Georgia and Florida locations, an easy-to-use online ordering platform, same-day shipping, and a factory-trained team of controls experts to answer your questions, Stromquist and Company continues in its tradition of offering great service and great products.